Welcome back, lad. I wanted to really thank you in return for shaking the cobwebs from my head and dusting me off with the hippocrene water. I've got something for you. You might find it useful, being a hero and all. It's a magical helm. Got it from a guy called Perseus. Wanted to settle down with his girlfriend Andromeda, so he gave it to me. Haven't had much use for it lately, so you might as well take it. It's a gorgeous morning today, isn't it? Makes me want to run outside and dive off the dock. Swim to who knows where. It's that kind of a day. I am alive again. I feel like I've just wakened from a long sleep. I've got some books to write and stories to tell, and then I'm off to find some new adventures and new tales. Life's too short not to enjoy it fully. You want to know my real name? Which one do you want to know? My name is Davy Jones when I sail upon the sea. I've chorused with the sirens as they sang their songs to me. I've supped on Circe's island, though she thought I was a boar. And she's the only girl I hope to never see once more. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's only one in all the world. Kind of sad, thinking of it all alone like that. Everyone needs a lover sometime. Farewell, and enjoy every moment of your adventure. Even the worst is better than being dead. Dealing with you. Come to gloat? You gots me fair and square. Ain't as bad as it could be. Ain't starving. They gots back all the money, so they let me off cheap. I'm in for twenty. Might even live that long if I'm lucky. It's a living. Better than starving. Didn't want to be a thief, but there ain't no work for a one-armed sailor, you know. Lost it when some rigging on the sails got tangled in a storm. I was getting it loose when the wind shifted. I was knocked aft and my arm was smashed. Like to die I was, trying to get the money to get a new arm. Reckon I'll never get one now. Okay, no hard feelings. You did your job, matey. Yeah, bye. Seems like my worst enemy's my only friend right now.
You'll need something to wet your whistle after you've watched Noir, won't you? Ferrari and I have a thing for one another. He's very broad-minded, and I'm very broad. Nawar knows the right moves to move a man, doesn't she? Nawar knows catching a man is like catching a fish. You've got to wiggle the bait a bit. The drink of the day is a specialty from Shapir. It's gin and tonic. One sip and you'll dream of Ginny. Every time some men plant a kiss, they expect to reap a harvest. You should tell Nawar you liked watching her dance. She'll be pleased you liked what you saw. Fight Kokino. Go Arena. Go fight. Calimera, we shall meet in battle. May the best warrior win. My greetings to all of you. Welcome to the arena and tonight's spectacle of deadly combat. I, Ferrari, am your host for these events. As you know, the combatants may choose the style of combat they prefer. They will fight in deadly earnest to bring their opponent 
to his knees. When a foe has fallen, the combat is over. The winner shall receive the purse of gold drachmas, and the defeated will be healed to fight another day. Tonight, the champion of this contest is someone most of you know. He has served the city of Selmaria for many years as a guard. He has proven himself to be valiant and brave. Ladies and gentlemen, I call to battle Kokino Pukamiso. I, Kokino Pukamiso, shall defend the honor of the guards of Silmaria. Our champion is challenged by a most renowned hero. I summon to battle the Prince of Shapir. May the contest begin! Today's treat is goop soup with cabbage. It was supposed to be spaghetti and meatballs, but Rover threw a cabbage at Tony Maloney and it fell in the sauce. Then Tony threw the meatballs back at Rover, but Rover dodged them and they hit Sal instead, so she dropped all the spaghetti. That wouldn't have been a problem, but Tessie slipped on the spaghetti while she was carrying the carrot salad, so that went everywhere. When they looked around, everything was mixed up, so they picked up what they could salvage and put it all in with the sauce and cabbage. They just added some water and salt and voila! A meal you won't find anywhere else. Kalimera! That means good day here in Silmaria. Welcome to our city. I hope you find happiness on this island. I am Andre, a fisherman. 
I am also happy to ferry people to the nearby islands on my boat. Yasas! It is nice to see a new face around here. I am out on this dock on most mornings. I fish for most of the day and evening and come back in the night. I know the waters around Silmaria in my sleep. If you ever wish to go for a boat ride, I'll be happy to take you around the bay or to the nearby islands. Any further out than that, and boats are attacked by sea creatures. Most fishermen on Marit live in the villages outside town. That is, they used to live there. They have been driven from their homes by attacks from armed mercenaries. They have been driven from the sea by attacks from tritons and sea monsters, and most have left this island. I am the sole remaining Silmarian fisherman. Tritons are half men, half fish people who live under the water. They used to be friendly and helpful to fishermen. Lately though, they have attacked every ship that sails past the nearby islands. No one knows why they have become hostile. The mercenaries are armed soldiers who have been sailing into the fishing villages and driving all the fisherfolk away. They could invade the city any day. Silmaria is the only city on the island of Marit. Marit is a large island, as you can see if you look on the map. In good years, you can sail around the entire island. This is not a good year, and the seas are too dangerous to travel that far. It was good speaking with you. Yasas! Great! We shall go for a boat ride together. You guide the way, and I'll sail. Is it not a beautiful day to be sailing? It is a true pity that we cannot sail far, for there are so many dangers we must avoid right now. You may guide the boat, but I shall make certain we do not travel beyond where it is safe. Calimera, are you interested in taking a boat ride today? Yasas, that is the Silmarian greeting. I am well, as always. My boat can be rented any morning before I go off to fish. I catch only a few fish each day. This is a bad time of year, for the large fish swim to deep water. Only the small fish remain near the shallows. The large fish are very good to eat. There is more meat than bone upon them, and they are easier to scale. Small fish are usually young fish who are avoiding the bigger predators. I use a rope net to catch them. For anchovies, I must use a cloth net. I mostly use anchovies to attract bigger fish, but they can be eaten. Would you like some? I am happy to share. Here, take a few. Yasas, that is the Silmarian farewell.
Anchovy and artichoke pizza, the ultimate combination of ingredients. You have the makings of a true scientist. Feel free to look around and learn what lessons you can fathom. Greetings. You must be looking for a successful career as a lab assistant for extremely important scientists. You come at a good time. All you need to do is pass the final test on the screen over there. Then you can start your training. I am Dr. Pretorius. I shall be your mentor and advisor. Gort, over there, is my senior lab assistant. We'll make a true scientist out of you. Dealing with you.
Ah, uh, you are highly fortunate to have entered into the presence of the epitome of the heroic prototype. I, Magnum Opus, have graced this guild with my magnificent presence. Good see, Hiroman. Hiroman, not talk too much. I, Magnum Opus, permit you to speak with me. I, Magnum Opus, supreme warrior of the city-state of Nova Roma, unrivaled as a spearman, unparalleled as a shieldsman, and unsurpassed as a strategist, shall now show Silmaria how great I am. I, Magnum Opus, am here to win the rights of rulership and rule this little backwater city. They obviously need my indomitable leadership skills and matchless statesmanship. The Beast appears to be the Guildmaster here. It seems that no one else wanted the job. Leaving so soon? You've hardly worked out at all. You will never become the epitome of the perfect physique as I have become. Better day now, Hiroman here. Toro okay until Magnum Man show up. I, Magnum Opus, have transformed the Beast's Day from okay to a memorable event. True. Not easy forget Magnum Man. Too much hot air here. It is warm in here. Rigorous exercise tends to produce heat. Smells like sweat. Sweat is a manly odor, Beast. Physical exercise cleans the body. Water cleans body better. Work out here lots. Mensana in corpore sano, I Magnum Opus always say. You look as if you could use some exercise to build up some muscles. I am an excellent example of physical fitness. Sad see go. Sad see Magnum man stay. <laughs>